and I got it uh, Ansari here just to show you how to undo uh, MIP robot. I have been looking for uh, some <coughs> MIP video how to um, take this apart but I couldn't find any on the YouTube so I decided to take a uh, challenge and uh, do it myself. I have done it already once uh, just to demonstrate I will um, <coughs> go through again and show you how it's undo it. So basically you need um, three type of screwdrivers, one is like a flat sharp one, another one is medium Phillips screwdriver, uh, third one it's a large uh, cross side Phillips. So the first thing is to take this cap off from the wheel. So. It's a surprise open that and sometimes it's very stubborn. Undo those large screws. It's very long screw, so just <clears throat> bear bear in mind that's a pretty long screw. This down. Pull it out like so, and then we need to <clears throat> take the battery cover. Eight screws around the back is keeping two body bolts together. And just take this apart like so. Just gently pull these connectors. <coughs> Excuse me. And just be careful with this uh, speaker connector. It's sometimes it's very it's sticky. So I just, I just try to pull out with my little screwdriver. That's like holding the motors and the PCB board. And undo this connectors. And pull out the head. <coughs> And I gently insert the screwdriver uh, with the motor case. So I just try to pull it out because they're holding by two, uh, four pillars of plastic uh, spikes, whole thing. 
So I just gently pull it out and making sure the PCB is not damaged and I try not to touch PCB many times because that could be a, a, a static, anti-static charge could damage your uh, ICs and other integrated circuit. bit and remove the, the head connectors <coughs> and these are five different type of connectors which is um, you cannot really miss when you uh, try to assemble back together yellow is yellow and the orange to orange white to white brown to brown and red to red so if we just pull out each Try not to stress the, the wires when you're pulling out. Like so. And this ribbon cable. Like I said, some of these connectors are pretty sticky, so I just insert the little screwdriver and pull out the connectors. And these are two more screws <clears throat> that's holding the PCBs to the motor assembly. There we go. That is the motor assemblies, and that is your uh, <coughs> gyro that's controlled and balance the whole MIP. So uh, there we go. If if there anything need repairing or um, um, setting up, so that's that is the whole assembly. I mean, I find it pretty easy once once you know how how to undo it. But um, well, if um, any further uh, repair needed so that is the uh, two screws holding the motor case here and two screws are here to uh, take this apart and like I said before try not to touch the PCBs um, because that could damage the uh, the electronic circuitry uh, that is the uh, the black wheel the little black wheel is a encoder that's when you turn the, uh, the wheel to different um, program this is how they operate from here that's connect up to the the PCB and that connect up to the uh, little computer onboard computer to set up the uh, uh, different program according to what you require so there we go if you want me to <coughs> uh, show you how it's uh, put together uh, uh, please uh, wait for my next video which is will be uh, coming up on the YouTube soon so hope you find it pretty uh, useful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.